I have three pecan trees, old and established. I have always gotten beautiful fruits from them. This year, every pecan that I crack has a small, light yellow worm in it. Can I fix this? And if so, how? They have destroyed the nut. It is totally black. Help! <laughs> I love my trees. And this is from Miss Mary in Walls, Mississippi. Miss Mary, guess what? We have a pecan expert right here, Mr. D, who knows all about these kinds of things. So, Mr. D, what say you? I'd say you've got pecan weevils. Okay. And uh, at this point, there's nothing that you can do about it. Uh-oh. Uh, this year, uh, next year, uh, you need to... You need to study up a little bit and, and on, on the life cycle of pecan weevils, they, they usually hatch starting in early August through mid to late September. And um, if you, uh, and, and, and they're in the ground, you know, right, you know they, when they pupate, they pupate in the ground. They have an interesting life cycle. Hmm. They spend a couple of years in the ground. Uh, uh, wow, a couple and, of years, how about that? Yeah, okay. one year uh, there's one stage and, and then, uh, uh, they, the larvae will will cr uh, construct like an earthen, you know, little capsule. It'll hmm. stay there for one year, and then pup then it'll go into the pupil stage and spend another year in the pupil stage, and then then and uh, but it is regular, complete metamorphosis. Uh, egg larvae pupa people an adult, but the larval stage uh, lasts a little bit longer. But anyway, uh, most of the time, uh, the uh, the adults uh, will crawl out of the ground crawl up the tree and they will start feeding on the the green pecans mm -hmm. and they're they're a weevil and so they they will you know penetrate the 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 shell and and then as the shell starts to harden they will drill a hole in that shell and they'll lay an egg mm -hmm. usually four or five eggs if they just have one <laughs> larvae they, they probably need to look a little harder there's probably yeah. three or four more <laughs> in there but usually they'll lay four or five eggs in that shell and then the larvae will feed on that shell and, and our feet on the the meat, mm -hmm. the pecan meat, and then the larvae will drill a hole to get out. And you and the, it's not unusual at all to see a little round hole in every yeah. nut, and that's where the larvae drilled a hole out and, and fell to the ground, and 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 or you know it goes into the ground to begin that first part of its life cycle as a larvae. Uh, but it's pretty easy to control them if you uh, with carbaryl. Carbaryl is is effective on pecans. But uh, you, may, you may have to spray, you know, starting in early August, uh, you know, several applications uh, at weekly intervals uh, until uh, until you you know get closer to harvest. And if in commercial pecan country, you'll see cone traps. You'll, they'll have mm -hmm. like little teepees set out underneath the trees, and when they start emerging, they'll crawl up there and they'll get in the very tip of that. And so it's easy to see when they're starting to emerge. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing to do. You can even sticky. The sticky, sticky stubs, stubs around the, the base of the tree. I mean, you you can buy that in, in a... Like tangle foot. Something, yeah, yeah and okay. just paint yeah. it around the yeah. edge of the tree. And when you start to see them get hung up in there, the, the adult weevils get hung up in there, then you can spray, you know, carbaryl. Right. So it's a good idea to do that rather than just go out there and uh, indiscriminately start spraying in, in early sense. August. Because sometimes during dry years especially, uh, the hatch uh, is a little bit later than normal. Okay. But... Uh, that's, that's the way you control pecan weevils. They can be devastating.